Okay, so who, let me work down, Carmen. Happy birthday, sis. So this will be from her birthday. Okay, this is short. August 1st. It's great to have a new phone. People can actually contact me again. Cool. Wasn't this around the same time she met Ben in 2016? Okay, so we're on the train. Wow, you early, aren't you? You normally catch the train in the nick of time. Did your friend insist you arrived earlier? Yes, but she took it a bit far. She was so stressed that we arrived 30 minutes before we were due to leave. But it's fine because we had plenty of time to store our luggage and find our seats. All right, let me know when you leave, okay? We're off. Have a good weekend. September. Hi, we're in the train back home. Was Wexidary fun? Yeah, I'll drop by the restaurant tomorrow and tell you about it. What time do you start? The same time as every Monday morning, 10.45. Oh yeah, I don't know if I'll be up that early. If not, I'll come by after the lunch rush. Whatever you like, I'll be there all day anyways. Hugs and kisses. Happy birthday, September 21st. Thanks, see you tonight. Laura, what, what, what? I was sorting through some boxes in my garage and I found someone you know. Really? Don't tell me I have friends who live in your garage. Well, you do. It's Mr. Squishy. <gasps> No way, where did he come from? In a box I brought back home from mom's house. Most of the stuff was mine, but I rummaged around and found Mr. Squishy all squashed up at the bottom. Oh, I haven't seen him in ages. I thought he'd been left somewhere and forgotten. If you want to see him again and take him home with you, drop by any evening. Heart. What are you getting mom for her birthday? I was thinking about a scarf, what about you? A cell phone, so she can finally live in the 21st century. Or, you know, she won't be able to use it, don't you? You don't- you think so? Even if I give her a very basic one? Yeah, for sure. I bought her a cheap phone two years ago just for calls and texting, and now it's at the back of a drawer in her living room. Damn. Well, maybe it's because she doesn't know how to use it. Hmm. I don't think you can try to force someone who's not a techie. The day mom wants a phone, she knows she can always come and ask us. True. I'll get her something else. She mentioned a hat that she's seen at the mall. Okay, I'll look- I'll take a look tomorrow afternoon. I keep, like, rotating my wrist um, while I'm playing this, and it's messing with the little sensor thing. Um, scrolly control. Cursor. That's the word. Cursor. There are some new episodes of Stray Envoys available today. I managed to avoid spoilers online. I didn't. I read a spoiler about a new character. And I can tell you it's- Say one more word and you're not my sister anymore. I'm never speaking to you again. Bruh. Me. Same. You can't say that. I'm your fave big sis. I'm the only one, but hey. I could just go to the big sis store and buy a new one. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they went out of business. Oh dear. Well, I guess I'll just have to keep my old model from the 80s. Aw, oh, shoot. Hey, lady, that's just rude. <laughs> Can I come to yours tonight and eat slash watch new episodes? Yep, there's bound to be some leftovers from the restaurant so we won't have to cook. Was that the same night she was going to go over to Carmen's and then he made her stay? Okay, so this is a month later. Did I leave my scarf at your house? You did, I'll keep it warm for you. I'm running a bit late, sorry. I'm running a bit late, don't worry. Is your work situation better? Nope. Don't worry, Ben is here for me. If you need anything, just let me know. Call me, won't you? Promise. Happy birthday, sis. Okay. So, Mr. Squishy and... There's some other number. Usually these games are based around... Numbers, 1045. Okay, let me go back. Amanda. Hey, I'm sending this message from my own phone. My work phone's out of battery. I'm running a bit late. Sorry, but can we make it 30 minutes later, Laura? I'm already here. And take your time. I'll just order another tea, and it's so cool to have your private number. Okay. Sarah. Hey, it's been a super long time since we last saw each other. How are you? Yeah, it's been ages. I haven't been getting out much lately. I know. But it's because I found love. No way, tell me all. He's called Ben. He's called Ben. That's weird. His name is Ben. He's called Ben. Okay. Tall, good looking. He's perfect. We've been together two months. Well, weren't you in a long distance relationship with some other gorgeous guy? No, you're thinking about my first boyfriend. We stayed friends after we broke up, but we finished years ago. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know. You have to introduce me to Ben someday. Sure, so what's up with you? Not much, but Maya's pregnant and she'll be giving birth soon. Cool. Wow, great. Maya's giving birth. You want to come see the babies? <gasps> babies? Two babies? I'm sick of the kittens. We'll be giving them away soon, so come now if you want to see them. Oh. Oh, Maya's her cat. I thought it was her wife. I'll see you tomorrow. 
So did you find homes for them all? No, there's one left. Are you sure you don't want a super cute little fur ball of your own? I'd love to, but Ben's allergic. Uh, honestly, that's me with my dogs. Um, my last boyfriend was like, he's kind of allergic to dogs. Well, mainly he's allergic to peanut butter. He would have a little bit of allergies when it came to my dogs, so I would have to keep allergy medicine around just to help him with that. But um, he was also really allergic to peanut butter, so I had to make sure not to give them peanut butter before he came over. So that way they, he didn't have an allergic reaction if they like licked him because they are kissing. They, they're dogs that love to kiss people. My brother in his totally classy style. I can see you're having fun. When are you back? In two weeks. Okay, I'm being serious now. I've finally seen Amelia and I showed her the photo of the guy who ran the Zero Waste Conference last month. She thinks he looks nothing like Victor. Damn, I could have sworn he was the spitting image of him. You can see I'm no good at recognizing faces. Shame on me. I'm so happy we'll be working together again. Yeah, me too. Do you want to go swimming on Saturday? Well, my period is due soon. Really? So you're not taking the pill continuously? Er, what do you mean? Well, your packet of pills fell out of your bag the other day and I couldn't help noticing there were 28 pills instead of 21. Wow, hold on. How can you tell in three seconds there were 28 and not 21? Do you think I'd be an accountant if I didn't have a passion for numbers? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> well spotted. Yes, there were 28, but 21 normal hormonal pills and 7 placebos. That means I take them every day and not forget to resume. That means I can take them every day and not forget to resume after my week off. Oh, that's handy. I have a daily reminder in my diary so I don't forget. But it's true that remembering I don't have to take the during the 7 pill-free days and then remembering to take them again at the end of the week is a tad complicated. I, I personally just take the placebo ones just to help keep me on track. Exactly, so I get a reminder every day and never have to stop ta taking my pill, but what all? But what's all this about taking pill continuously? A friend of mine does it, a pill with no placebo. You take the same pill for 28 days and never have a period. Oh, okay, I see, but I don't use them. I'm concerned about you, Laura, how are you feeling? So what, so this is about a month later. <clears throat> this is, oh, this is around the time that, um. Hold on, let me go back, let me go back. June, this is around the time that she left. This is around the time she left work. It's okay, no worries, the concert is coming along slowly, but surely. It's not the concert I'm worried about, it's you. Really? No, no, I'm fine. Working from home is doing me so much good. I'm trying to stay focused on my tasks as much as possible and not dwell on the other stuff. Okay, but I'm here if you ever need anything. Thanks, it's nice to know. Hi, any news? How are you at the moment? It's all good, how about you? I'm fine, but I miss you, I wanna see you. I don't feel well enough to go out at the moment. Okay, but let me know if you change your mind. Do you wanna meet up for a drink tonight? How are you? I haven't heard from you in a long time. Laura, I'm worried about you. I come, I'm come. i coming to see you during my lunch break. I hope you let me in. So she showed up at the apartment recently, probably, to talk to Laura. Adam Wool. The Arts and Craft Fair is on from 11th to the 14th. Are you free? If so, call me. The Wedding Salon is on from the 16th to the 18th. Are you free? If so, call me. The Cardiology Congress is on from the 5th to the 7th. The Real Estate Exhibition is on from da 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 da. The Chocolate Fair is on from da 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 da. The Book Fair is on. The Garden Show is on. Okay. These might be important later. Go back. Go, go back. Go back. Can I? My god. Let me... G okay. Alex. Happy birthday, but it's not my birthday yet. It is here with the time difference. Yeah, haha. Really sweet of you to remember. Planning a big party, sort of. A major company has booked an entire res the entire restaurant for a new year, huge New Year's Eve bash. Not really my... Not really in my honor. I'm going to be working like crazy. Ouch, good luck. But you gotta admit, it wasn't the best idea to be born December 31st. I had no choice. <laughs> Elsa. You never guess who I have here with me. Er, strangely enough, I have no idea. So you're not answering. I messaged you back, strangely enough, I have no idea. Did you not get it? Didn't you get it? Yeah, I got it. But I sent you a photo of on our messenger. Did you see it? There's been a lot of problems with our messenger today. Best send the photo on here. Wow, hey, is that Kitty? Yeah, we're at the space bar. Can you join us? No, I can't come right now, but stay hide a kitty for me. October 19th, 2016. We'll do. 
So there's another messenger somewhere. Emma. So, did you meet my boss? Yeah, but it didn't go that great. I also arrived hot and sweaty because I was running up and down all those stairs. You could have told me his office was in the middle of a massive labyrinth. Even with his office number, I really struggled. Oops, sorry. Well, it wasn't exactly your dream job, so I'm sure you'll find something better. Yeah, that's a bright way to look at it, but... Also, like, give people directions in the future? I don't know. Hi, Laura. Hey, I'm planning a surprise for Amelia and Victor's wedding anniversary, and I need some nice pictures of them. Have you got anything? I have a photo I took of them at Gabriel's wedding, which is fantastic. Great, can you email it to me? Sure, I'll send it right now. And that was for who and who's? Amelia and Victor. Daniel. I followed your advice and bought the same phone as you. Cool. Makes a change from your crappy old one, huh? Sure does. And then a few weeks later. So have you turned into a bear yet? Haha. <laughs> Take a look at this pic of my sister. Enjoy your holidays. So this Daniel must be related to uh, the other one who sent a photo of this. Are you having any problems with your phone battery draining super quickly too? Yeah, totally, but I realize that the problem isn't as much better. Please tell me what you did. It's driving me crazy. My phone's battery doesn't even last for two hours. The problem is the GPS. When you leave it on, it uses all the, up all the phone power to turn it off. Or how do you cope without GPS? It's a really neat toy. You turn it back on when you need it. Stupid. You're stupid. Oh, so that's a that's a game device, I bet, in this that I have to keep in mind. Fun. Another tip, I noticed the GPS would sometimes just switch itself on. I found out how to lock it, so now it asked me for a password. That way I know my battery battery won't run down my mistake. I'll show you how to do it next time I see you. Okay, thanks. Oh, so I'm gonna need a password for that. Okay. So what is it? Okay, so Daniel and who is it Amanda is maybe his sister? No. Sarah? No. She had the cats. Charlotte? Okay, so Charlotte and Daniel are siblings. Okay. Apps. Power job messenger. So SMS, must have been what I was reading. I am here. What's this? Share my current location. Haha! <laughs> no. Go away, Ben. I'm very sus of you. Okay, so... Notes. September 13th, 2016. Groceries. Flour, tomatoes, vinegar, dish soap, olive oil, light bulbs. Space bar. Space bar. Wi-Fi space bar! Public free Wi-Fi. Co-working Egerton? ID, password, work. Jesus, that's a lot. Ingredients for stuffed zucchini. Cool. It's a recipe. Hold on. Hold on, what is this? Symptoms? Weariness, waking up in the morning, constant fatigue, weight loss, loss of appetite, insomnia, hypersomnia, headaches, low blood pressure, constipation, loss of libido. Time to look that up. I think that might be depression. I think that might be depression symptoms. Hold on. I know from experience, but I'm just gonna confirm because I'm not a doctor. Constipation, low blood pressure, headaches, hypersomnia, insomnia, loss of ap appetite, Weight loss, although weight gain can also be part of depression. Constant fatigue. Addison's weight. Weight, Addison's disease? What is this? Lack of energy and motivation, abnormal drowsiness or tiredness, muscle weakness, low mood, loss of appetite, and unintentional weight and loss, the need to urinate frequently, increased thirst, craving salty foods. No? Or no, maybe these are early symptoms, later symptoms, low blood pressure, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal joint and back pain, muscle cramps, chronic exhaustion, which may cause depression, brownish, discolor brownish discoloration of the skin, a lack of interest in sex, particularly in women. So 
So hold on, what's Addison's disease? Addison's disease can be difficult to detect at first because early symptoms are similar to those of many other health conditions. But... Hold on, but what is it? What is it? What is Addison's? Hold on. Addison's disease. Addison's disease, also known as primary adrenal insufficiency or hypoadrenalism, is a rare disorder of the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are two small glands that sit on top of the kidneys. They produce two essential hormones, cortisol and, al and aldosterone. aldosterone. The adrenal gland is damaged by Addison's disease, so it does not produce enough cortisol or aldosterone. About 8,400 8, people in the UK have Addison's disease. It can affect people of any age, although it's most common to affect between the ages of 30 and 50. It's also more common in women than men. So, what is that? How does that affect? What, I don't understand exactly what it is still, though. Early stage symptoms of Addison's disease are similar with to more common health conditions such as depression or flu. That's why it looks so familiar to me because those are also um, those are also symptoms of depression. The condition is usually the result of a problem with the immune system which causes it to attack the outer layer of the adrenal gland, disrupting the production of steroid hormones, aldosterone and cortisol. Oh. It's not clear why this happens, but it's responsible for 70 to 90% of cases in the UK. Other potential causes include conditions that can damage the adrenal glands, such as tuberculosis, although this is uncommon in the UK. So, what? Okay, hold on. What is Addison's disease? Okay, Addison's disease. A disease in which the adrenal glands don't produce enough hormones. Um, when the body is under stress, this deficiency of cortisol can result in a life-threatening adizonian crisis characterized by low blood pressure. Symptoms tend to be non-specific and include fatigue, nausea, darkening of skin, and dizziness upon standing. Treatment involves taking hormones to replace those not produced by the adrenal glands. Okay, so it's a hormonal problem. And it's super rare. So either she has a hormonal problem, which is apparently common in the UK, which if this is based in like fictional UK, it would make sense. Or she has depression, which would make more sense. Because insomnia and hypersomnia can both be like typically not in conjunction, typically, but it does happen. Weight loss, weight gain can also be part of depression. Um, doctors, Dr. Vance here, Dr. Honders, Dr. Estol, Dr. Sunheart, and Dr. Lungs. So she went to a doctor about this recently, based on this time, because it's 2017. So yeah, based on this, she went to a doctor recently about it, which is good. You should always go to a doctor. This is another secret. Is it? Four zero zero four, four zero zero four, 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 four. Enter. Clear. I don't know. 